Hello everybody, thanks for tuning in. This is Micah's Lawn Maintenance YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my setup as a 17 year old that does lawn care. Let's get into it. Now returning viewers, you might recognize that John Deere. I've done plenty of videos with that. Um, this Honda, I did a video of re-clearancing the valves on its sister, uh, which unfortunately has been sold. Uh, and then this Echo equipment here is also mine. But some of you may be wondering, What's with all the X marks? The 60 Laser Z, the three turf tracers, what's up with that? Now this 52 inch turf tracer here, this is a fairly new addition to me. Uh, I bought this a couple months ago at the very beginning of the season with the intention to flip it, that the buy it, fix it, sell for a profit. Uh, that didn't quite go to plan. So I bought it, I believe in March it was, for around $2,000. No, for $2,000 exactly, I bought it. Um, it needed a hydraulic hose, some minor bits and pieces here and there. Overall, it's in pretty good shape. Started, it ran, it drove. I didn't check it out very thoroughly, unfortunately, and that was a learning experience for me. So what I learned when I got home was that the hour meter didn't work on it, and the deck didn't work. So for the deck, it was just five bucks worth of wiring. I just had to bypass the safety switch. With the hour meter, that's kind of a big deal. This thing just wasn't a great investment. Um, I have about six or seven hundred dollars worth of parts into it. Um, and I have it listed now. I'm only really going to get two thousand for it. So I'm going to get what I paid for and I'm going to lose a couple hundred bucks on this machine, which sucks. But it does start and run wonderfully. It cuts good. Start it up right here. And I'm not really going to move it around for filming's sake, but it runs and starts great. It cuts good, drives good. Overall, great machine. Um, just made a mistake when buying it. Now for the handheld equipment. I know a lot of people like looking at this. So this here is my Echo PB580T. Uh, I bought this at the end of the year last year just for doing fall cleanups and such. Uh, it was a really great help for that. Uh, it's also a great blower just for general use. I find it does a really good job with all the grass clippings if I need to do a small little leaf cleanup for it does great. Uh, I did temporarily have a Echo PB755T, I believe it was, um, and that was uh, pretty much in between this one and the 9010. I wasn't a huge fan of it. Um, it doesn't have the vibration dampening like this one does, which is honestly amazing. I highly recommend it. Um, overall, haven't really had any issues out of the blower. It's about a year old now and it's done great. Now these 2620s here, um, this one here you can see paints a bit more faded on it. Uh, this one I got as a package deal with two other 2620Ts and two of those Honda push mowers, which I'll get to in a second. And um, that 755T I was talking about. Uh, so this one has been great. Uh, I haven't really had any issues out of it. I used it for the first half of the year. Um, great power. I deleted the exhaust screen on it. So I didn't have a super easy way to clean it or replace it. So I just went ahead and removed it for simplicity's sake. Um, I phased this one out when I got this bad boy. So this is a brand new Echo 2620T paid for by selling the other 2620Ts, uh, one of those Honda push mowers and the backpack blower I was talking about. Uh, I paid for that uh, by selling those. This has been great. I have a Darwin's grip on it. Uh, I don't run a guard on my trimmers. Uh, it took a little while for you to get broken in, but once it was, starts first or second pull every time. Um, I'm really glad I went and got a new one. All right, so this Honda push mower here. So I got this in the same deal that I got those three Echo 2620s and the backpack blower like I was talking about. Uh, 
the previous guy I got it from, he had his company stickers on here, so that's why this is a little bit messed up because I peeled his company stickers off of here. Um, honestly, I haven't even done an oil change to this thing since I got it. Um, it really needs it, but it runs absolutely fantastic. Starts force pull every time. I don't think it's ever taking me two pulls to start this mower. And remember, this is a mower that was used heavily commercially, like the wheels, bearings in the wheels are all worn out. Blades pretty trashed, but this engine, first pull every time, it's honestly shocking. Um, fuel consumption is fantastic. It's a amazing mower, honestly. I wish Honda would keep making these because if I had a need for a new one, I would 100% buy one like this again. Uh, I did do a video on reclearancing the valves on this, so if you are interested in that, go ahead and check that out. Um, but overall, great mower. I don't really have anything bad to say about it. It's just kind of worn out from its previous heavy duty commercial life. Now this is our tone here. This is my D515E. Uh, I believe it's a 2020 or a 2021 model. Uh, I got this used with 40 hours on it. Uh, right now it has, let's see if I can bring you over here. I know that's going to be hard to see on camera, but 229.2 hours. I got this uh, almost exactly two years ago uh, in July of 2020, or 2022, excuse me. Uh, I got this in July of 2022. Um, it was incredibly dirty for only having 40 hours on it, uh, but overall it was in good condition. Uh, I did later learn that the lug nuts on the left side had been loosened and that did cause me quite a bit of headache uh, last year. Uh, I ended up having to take it in and the wheel was trashed, the lug bolts were trashed, the lug nuts were trashed. I just had to get basically a whole new assembly for that side. Um, it was only what, three, four hundred bucks though, so I'm not gonna complain too bad. Good lesson to always tighten your lug nuts on your mowers, no matter how much you think it doesn't matter. Um, this has really been a great mower for me uh, as for the size of my business. Um, I really only have, what, seven, eight clients right now on the regular, about half weekly, half bi-weekly. Um, and this does a great job with it. It's a 54 inch cut, stamped deck, um, but still does the job. I've still never replaced the belt on it. Belt wear is great. Um, engine service regularly. I do have a video on that as well. Uh, that was when I first got this mower, so I didn't have a clue what I was doing. But overall, this has been a great mower for me. Um, I'm hoping to get an actual review video out on this specific mower at some point. I keep saying I'm going to do it, but I don't know if that's actually going to happen. We'll see. Now, here's what I'm sure you've all been waiting for. The trailer and what's on it. So up front here is a, I believe early 2010s, uh, Xmark Laser Z 60 inch. Um, I also believe it's an S series, but I haven't even looked at the serial number yet, so I need to do that. Uh, this is just a parts machine. I don't have a use for it, but I'm planning to pressure wash it and get it sold. Um, only thing with this machine is it has A missing engine of course it does have the little engine guard sitting up on top of it so that's not actually missing but the engine itself is gone and then also this spindle here I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this but that spindle is a little bent and it's missing the deck belt otherwise this is a complete part machine um, from what I've been told both of the hydros are good so I should be able to make a pretty decent buck selling this. Um, I think I'm going to list it for a thousand and I'd be happy getting anything over 500 for this. Um, next up, this turf tracer here. This is a 60 inch X series with the Kohler EFI engine. Uh, at the moment it will crank and then it'll start for about a half a second and then it'll shut off. So 
I'm guessing this is just gonna be a finicky EFI system that I'm gonna need to figure out here. Um, not 100% sure what it is, but I'll be on all the forums trying to figure that out. So there's a lot of mystery here with this last mower. So all I know about this one is that it was put away for some sort of mystery issue and hasn't been touched since. This was about five years ago. Um, the engine actually looks fairly clean. Um, I was told that it did run when it was put away. Um, so I'm assuming it's a hydraulics issue or something, but it has almost brand new tires on it. Um, from what I can see, the belts look good. Um, it has a sulky with it, as does the other one. And I mean, it's a bit, it's in rough shape, but there's definitely some savable parts on here. If it's not just a savable machine, somebody's definitely willing to pay a decent bit of money for this because it is in fairly decent condition here. You can see this whole air filter assembly is in really nice shape. tires super deep tread they're old tires but I mean they have a lot of life left on them it's a bit rusted but in the back there I don't know how well you can see that but it's in good shape uh, it does have a plug in this tire which I'm going to need to snip off but I mean honestly it's in pretty decent shape for its age I'm pretty impressed that it's survived this long. And this Kohler Turf Tracer here has the Xmark Easy Shoot on it, so that should be a bit of extra money with it as well. This Laser Z has a bit of a custom shoot blocker on there that I have no hope in saving. The trailer itself here is a 2015 Carry On. Um, it's a dual axle, uh, 7K. Uh, GVW. Overall, it's in really good shape. Uh, one of the tires, the driver's side front tire, is a little bit, a little bit um, low tread, but other than that, it's in good shape. It does have a missing jack handle, which I plan to just pick up off of Amazon for 20 bucks or something. And then one of the tail light lenses in the back is busted up, but overall, it's in really good shape. I plan to. I guess I haven't told you guys how much I paid for this whole trailer worth of stuff. Xmark Laser Z 260 inch turf tracers. Now remember, none of this stuff is running, but I want you to pause this video real quick and put a guess down in the comments on how much you think this whole trailer cost me. Alright, ready? 2800 bucks. 2800 bucks for everything. The two turf tracers, the laser Z, and the trailer. That's an absolutely mind-bogglingly insane deal. This trailer alone, it's a 20-footer. I know for a fact this is gonna sell for two grand once I get that jack handle fixed. I mean it's just insane. I know somebody will pay pay five hundred dollars for the laser Z. I'm gonna get that pressure washed up today. But, I mean, I'm just amazed. I got all of this for $2,800. All right, well that about does it for this lawn care setup video. Um, I'm really, hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I really do appreciate it, it helps me out. Um, I do plan to have some videos updating about this whole trailer situation. Um, I'm going to get the Laser Z pressure washed and do a bunch of stuff today um, and then I'll see what videos I can get out for you guys but I really do appreciate you watching um, hope you have a great day thanks for tuning in